I'll show you how to create a name credential. First, you go to Salesforce, click Setup, and the quick find box, type name credential. You, under security, you get name credentials. Name credentials um, is for um, credential you need to connect with the external systems. This is a developer box. Right now, I don't have any name credential. You, you can see there are three types here, name credential, external credential, external auth pro identity providers. The second and third tabs kind of hidden. They are not clearly visible unless you click them. And um, um, so, in order to create a name credential, um, you need external credentials. If you use external credential, um, external auth provide auth identity providers uh, items are needed as well if you use external auth identity providers um, to create a name credential there's a new button you click down you can either click new or new legacy uh, let's go for new um, don't want to focus on legacy uh, my name credential url um, i put some dummy url um you had to uh, and an authentication here. This is the external credential. You don't have any external credential here. You have to uh, external credential. Um, you cannot save it without external credential. Um, client certificate is optional. Um, there are call out option, generate authorization header, allow formula in HTTP header. Love formulas in HTTP body. Outbound network connection is an, um, is optional. Manage package access. So I cannot save you because you need external credential. Um, so in order to create an external credential, you click the second tab here. Click new here. I type at EC authentication protocol in ne needed uh, or 2.0 is uh, most popular one I'll select it authentication type it browser flow scope uh, um, is optional let's keep it uh, scope is different authorization levels you need identity provider here you need uh, identity provider that you did you have none here so you cannot create an uh, external credential without an identity provider first you have to go to third tab and you have to create a, a external auth identity provider and you create an external credential with the external auth identity providers and with external credential you can create name credential before name credential you have to create the uh, uh, external auth identity provider we had, you need to go to the third tab and the second tab external credential and then um, name credential so you have to go opposite direction okay so let's go to the external auth identity providers click new external auth i p that's my label and the name or to 
authorization uh, um, authorization code browser flow you need the client id client secret um, we have to get it from the external systems um, for now i uh, put some junk values here client id and client secret is needed to connect the external systems um, uh, it is a different topics uh, or if you do a google search in auth two doctor always you when you create an uh, apps um, connectivity you create client id client secret provide you the external system you can either pass in the header and you can pass in the body right some authentication system need to pass in the body you click here you want to pass in the body these are the url here uh, these are the token url um, let's see HTTP. I put some junk values here. Test start. Authorize. Token URL is uh, with the token for that. Usually, entry token. User info. Endpoint is. Um, Optional use proof key for code exchange is a different area, so we will leave it um, unchecked. Click save here. So it created an external auth pride, okay. It created an external auth identity provider. Um, now we have to create external credential. Uh, EAC, I named this at easy. Identity protocol is OA2.0. Identity provider, EAIP. We, I just created it. Click save here. So it uses the external auth identity provider just created we have external credentials now let's go for name let's create a name credential i name as my nc test dot pk where to select the external credential we just created name created it name credential is using the external credential generate authorization header that's a standard tell you the, the other checkboxes unchecked take the default outbound network connection Outbound network connection send request through a channel that you configure. We don't want to do that. Manage package access, um, we leave it blank. So we don't, want, we are not worried about it. So we created a name credential here. So it used it used a external credential and external credential use an external auth identity provider. That's uh, how you create a name credential in Salesforce using the external credential. So there's another way to uh, we create a new, the, still the legacy option is available. This is the legacy um, uh, screen if you remember, not the lighting screen. Um, legacy name credential screen uh, was like that uh, so we already created a name credential new name credential 